Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Okay. So let's start recording. Recording. Okay. All right. Everybody needs to take out their Gypsy Wife Quilt booklet this morning or this evening, whenever you get to do it. And we're going to go through page that. Very good. Page by page, and I'm going to um, ask each of you to take a pencil or a pen, and let's start taking some notes um, inside of our booklet to help us, when we go to um, put things together, know where they go. Um, if you look in the very back of the book on page 38, oh, this page numbers. Nope, sorry, 32. Page 32. It says Gypsy Wife Section Construction. There's a picture. Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice that we're starting with section one, which is up here in the um, right hand corner. Uh, and that's what we're starting with for our blocks. And then when we go to put construct with the strips, we're going to start with section nine and 10 and eight and move from left to right putting our strips in with our blocks when we go to do some construction. So um, when I talk about the strips later, I just wanted everybody to understand that we start numbering the strips from over here on the left side, but we're starting our blocks in section one, which is up here in the top corner on the right. Okay? Okay, I know some people are putting their section ones together already, or are you talking about putting the strips, like putting the strips together with the blocks? Like um, I'm going to put the strips together with each section, but we're going to do that later. We're going to do just blocks now and then add the strips later. So, um, but some people are starting to cut. It's, it's kind of weird because people are doing things at different times and I'm trying to accommodate as much as I can. But for our purposes, we're doing all our blocks and then we'll worry about our strips. That being said, if you come across a piece of fabric you really like, that is the width of the fabric, which is from selvage to selvage, 44 inches, 42 inches wide, you wanna go ahead and cut yourself a strip or two and save it so that it can be incorporated into the quilt. I recommend doing that. I did that this morning. I came across two and I had the width of fabric, so I went ahead and cut one and a half inch strips, two of them for each of those fabrics. And even if I end up using it as a one inch piece, that's okay, um, but I have it saved, and I've got it off to the side, okay? Any other questions about the strips or anything that you've come across as you're? No. Okay, good. Well, then now let's go to page five. Now I can see these page numbers because I rewrote all the page numbers at the bottom because it was driving me crazy. I couldn't see them, even with my glasses. Yeah, they okay. Are. So we're on page five, which is the first block in the book, but it's actually going to be in section three. So if you wanna go ahead and write somewhere on this page, section three, that will let you know that that's where the color wheel will go. Okay, and I'll try not to use all the names every time, but because I don't wanna get in trouble, but that's where that one will go. And then where it says finished block measures, I want you to add a half an inch to that. So rewrite the number, I'll put slash, and that way when you, Finish yours up, because for our purposes, we are talking about a block when it is finished before it's put into the quilt, okay? So that's all for this page, section three, and adding a half an inch. Then on page six, and I wrote on this page, I put make one, section two, nine and a half. 
So I added that extra little half an inch. And this one goes on to page six and seven. Mm. And that's for section two. And I think we're gonna do this one as a paper piecing. Page eight. Okay. This one is going to be in section eight. But we won't do this one till like November, October or November. Um, and it's going to be six and a half. Page nine is actually going to be section nine. And we're going to do the finish size is 8.0. Again, that's a finished size before it's sewn into the quilt. Okay. In the next page, page 10, it's section five. And it's, if you add a half an inch, it'll be 10 and a half. Page 11, another block, and it's going to be in section eight, and it's nine and a half. Page 12, section six. This next little hatchet is gonna be section six, and it will measure six and a half. Now the next page, page 13, we're actually gonna make two of these block. One is going to be in section one. We're getting ready to do that one. And it will not be bordered. Mm -hmm. Then in section 10, we'll make it again, but we will add a border around it. And if you look on the right hand side, it's all about construction. I'm sorry, on the left hand side, it's all about construction. And it should come up to be five, 0.5 inches and then on the right hand side it says leave one block as is the second block we're going to add a border and it gives you the dimensions and that's what will go in section 10. Okay, okay. page 14 we have it will be in section six and it will be eight and a half. Some of them she says make one block totals and others it doesn't even say. So it's interesting. You'll also notice on this page that she has her fabric labeled R-R-S-S-T-T-U-U-V-B. And I'm, I'm going with the assumption that that is so that when you are piecing it together, you make sure you keep those pieces in the right place. And if you label them with some sort of numbers or letters, it'll help you keep it in the right place. Otherwise you'll lose your design yeah. and it, it, it will not be the same. Okay, so now we're on page 16. And we're gonna make two of these. One will be in section four, one will be in section five, and it will measure eight and a half inches. Okay, and then we have page 17. Again, you'll make two. One will be in section two, and one will be in section nine. And it will, they will be eight and a half inches. Then you come to your colorful page that shows all the different ones. Okay. Now we're in our filler blocks and a lot happens on these filler block pages. So I'm not sure we're gonna go through everything, um, but let's just give it a start. All right, so it, under, under the word filler blocks, there's a block and you're gonna make six of those. There will be four bordered and two not bordered. Okay. okay. The two not bordered, one goes in section six and one goes in section one. And they measure four and a half inches. All right. 
Okay. Then the ones underneath that section where they say how to border it, they're going to be four. One in section five, two in section six, and one in section nine. And it should measure six and a half inches. Okay. Then on the right hand side of page 19, there's a block that we make and it becomes a three and a half inch. And we only make one of those. And underneath that, it says pinwheel blocks that will become three inch because it's at two and a half. If you add a half an inch, it will become three inch. Okay. And that's, you make two of those. I don't have the sections yet for when those are done. Page 20. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay. Um, at the top of page 20 on the left, you're going to make one block for section four with those steps and it will become eight and a half inches. Then you make another one that will be on the right hand side of that page. It'll be seven and a half inches and it will go in section two. I'm sorry, did I tell you where the first one goes? Yeah, section four. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Sorry. All right. And then underneath the seven and a half inch block, we're going to make one that will become five and a half inches and it will be section six. Okay, so we did the courthouse steps, five and a half, section six? Yes. Okay, so underneath that, we're going to make two that will become four and a half inches, and both of those will go in section six. Okay. Um, and the directions kind of continue on to page 21 for those blocks, so in case you need that. Okay, then on page 21, we have, we're going to be making two of the hourglass that will be three and a half inches. I'm going to do that today, hopefully. One of those will get um, a border to it. Right. Yeah. And then another one will get the double border and it will become six and a half inches and it will go in section one. I think we've already done that one. No, have we? No, we did the bordered square and a square. Sorry. So far, so good? Yep, what sections are the uh, the three and a half to make two? Do you have the sections for them? I don't have the sec. I have the section for one of them. It's section one. Okay. I have to look and see where the other one is. I don't see it on here. I didn't write it. When it gets to the filler blocks, there's so many. I'll have to go back and look that one up. Yeah. Okay. So then we also have um, hourglass bordered square to square, and it's going to go in section six. And it's going to measure um, five and a half total. But as I put in the direction in the schedule, you start with a three and a half hourglass block, and then you add make it a square to square that becomes five and a half. Okay. Okay. Now I hate this next page. Page 22, because there's a lot of these squares in the square. And I'm probably going to just say, let's do the best we can um, to, because some of them end up being more like they end up being in other blocks. So, like when it says the three inch finished or the three and a half inch finished makes 23, yeah. we're only going to list 17 right now because the others get made up into other blocks, if that makes sense. So let's go to the right-hand side of page 22 
and the two and a half is going to become three mm -hmm. and that's going to go in section nine and then the three inch will become three and a half and we're going to have one in section one two in section two one in section five seven in section six one no, i'm sorry two in section seven two in section eight i'm sorry one in section eight i'm sorry one in section eight one in section nine and four in section 10. And I've gone through it several times. I've been through all kinds of um, tutorials and things to help and spreadsheets. You know, this is as best I can guess and get to for right now. As we're making them, you know, there may be in section three, there may be something that I just missed, but I'm, I'm trying to get them as best I can. Um, the three and a half is going to finish four inches mm -hmm. and it's one for section 10. Okay. The four inch is going to finish four and a half inches. Mm -hmm. And we'll have one in section three, two in section five, three in section six. two in section seven and two in section 10. The next block starts on page 22 and continues on to page 23. It will finish five and a half inches and it will go in section seven. Okay, the next pinwheel we're going to be bordering and that's going to go in, six, in section 10 and it will be six inches. Okay, then we have on page 23, um, at the top on the right hand side, we have the bordered square and a square that are going to go, that'll be five and a half inches and go in section six and section 10. And section three. Under that, the six inch will be six and a half inches and it will go in section two. And the seven will be seven and a half inches and go in section seven. And it is double bordered. This measurements are right there. Finally, at the bottom there is a, a page 23 is one more block started and it's going to be 10 and a half inches finished before you put it in the quilt and it will go in section three. Okay, and then we have on the last page 24, it, a, a block that will finish 11 inches and it will go in section eight. Then underneath that one, we have a seven inch that will be seven and a half inches that will go in section five. We have a seven inch it becomes seven and a half inches that goes in section 10. And for some reason, I did not mark the last three blocks. I'm not sure why I didn't get them in there, but there's three left on page 24 that I've got to go back and write the sections down of where they go. So that at least will get everybody, we're all on the same page, 
hopefully the right page. And um, that will be a good reference for you coming and going as we're looking at the schedule coming up. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWannaQuilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. <laughs>